the current practices that are going on. By the way, I want to address a thing um, while we're talking about the United States Postal Service. Uh, AJ Fitt br brought it up yesterday, and uh, you know, and and so I did some research into uh, fire tr into um, mail trucks catching on fire, and mysteriously, as as can, yeah. As far as I can tell, though. This is um, so I got a story from Vice that was written in July of this year, um, and it, it sort of documents uh, uh, this happening over the past few years, like right. past it's been, three it's to been, four years. It's been a bit. It's about, and, four, and, years. It's about four years. And it's, it's specific to these really, really old mail trucks that are like, you know, 30, 30 years old plus, you know, um, so it's. I, you know, I, I I know right now we do know that they are they have taken away you know um, mailboxes off the street. We do know that they have decommissioned and 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 taken out mail sorting machines. That, right. That's what this, and they this uh, and, and over time and all, and and they're basically trying to. They, everybody knows it. Everybody. Wow. They keep. Wow. Wow. This dude is not stopping. No, um, I'm telling you, this is this is either this this might be publicity mag then because. Yeah, first of all, they can't spell your name. They keep calling you Shan. Like, like the Brit, the bridge, the Brit, the bridge, the bridge. Like, MC Shan. Right, they, yeah. <laughs> like, no. I you, said that. You said, uh, am I tough? I said, yo, you're in Amarillo, Texas. I'll come and do shows in Texas after this shit's over, and you can look me but, up. But I, light skin. come past and holler at me. Light skin, Pedro. Uh, hey, Donnie, welcome. The Bermuda Two have united. Uh, but... Uh, they're calling me light skin Pedro. That's that's classic publicity mag right there, man. That's you know that I feel like so I feel like publicity mag is times times two times three, and then they, they they're just finding different profiles. But they've been on at to, the same time them. though, so maybe switching back and forth. But I get it. No, hey, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna move technically on. Bruce, technically Bruce Wayne and Batman are always in the same room at the same in the time. same room. That's Clark true. Kent, Real Superman shit. Too. And I did the, the whole thing that I'm not funny anymore. Keep buying my jokes. Nobody. Number one, not buying my jokes. Number two, uh, I'm gonna address this last thing, and we're gonna leave you fucking alone because you're you said I'm a sad man. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm sad. Got it. Yeah. And um, good, good for you. And saying I'm not funny anymore. I'm funny as a motherfucker. Okay, flat out. I mean, across the board, in front of your I, people, my people, any people. people. So you're you're wrong. I'm right, and that's it. And 806. I don't even know what the fuck that means, but uh, I do know I'm what not, eat I'm a not, bag I'm of dicks means. That. <laughs> so, but and that's no, what's yeah. for dinner. So no, uh, <laughs> you can juice that. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> But uh, you know, so we mock as, you. As far as I can tell, man, we uh, they, they it's it's this you know, the, some of these mail trucks they look like fucking World War II, uh, you know, delivery vehicles or some shit, and they just slap some paint on them. Um, so as far as I can tell, that's that's what's happening with the fires to to uh, mail delivery trucks, um, because like in my neighborhood, they pull up in that new shit, like those sprinter vans. And you right. know, the fleet, the fleet here, at least in my zip code, seems to be, uh, or area code seems to be, um, you know, updated. But so I don't want, I don't want us to get too caught up in 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 the conspiracy. Like, oh, and now they're burning trucks because that's going to stir everything up. It's a whole bunch of stuff. But the bottom line is catching, they are doing. Trucks are catching they, up fire. Right. They are catching but the up reason fire. the post office is getting all this heat is because uh, basically our 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 cunt in chief. Um, President Orange Citrus Dick Face actually is saying all this dumb shit and doing all this dumb shit that he's trying to basically, you know, make voters scared, make voters think that their vote's not going to go through, not realizing you're fucking over Republicans, too, by getting rid of post offices in their area, you idiot. And secondly, you're a fucking idiot. Now you're, you know you're an idiot. That's why I watched you on that clown hall meeting and you were just fucking lost when people asked you real questions. You had no little blonde lady to field them for you. So shut up, you cunt. So uh, I'm just letting you know that um, he's basically using voter suppression, sending the military to voting poll places. I mean, come yeah. on. Getting rid of, getting rid of, everybody sees that a mile away that you're just basically trying to fucking circumvent the vote. And everybody knows it. So that's fine. We're going to fight you anyway. And if you win with cheating and all that other shit, you're still a cunt. And you know you're a sad little frightened man, child, that can't barely get thoughts together because you're fucking, you're 
stupid, and you've been stupid since you were younger, and you've been pampered since fucking you were a fucking stupid. child. Stupid. Um, You're just stupid. So I love, I love uh, Prime Minister of Taste. Uh, always, always love your presence on the show. He said, me and, me and you, Shane, we're not funny. We're fucking savage. And he knows that shit. That's why he comes through. Uh, and I love Miss Adverb. She said, we will end you here. And that's why we invite all you monsters, trolls, <laughs> savages. Uh, somebody earlier mentioned we don't need uh, monsters or trolls. Uh, was it Penny something? Uh, but here, here's the thing. This show, it, it's, it's called Savage AF. And no matter how many people who come through here, they are dedicated to the to the religion of fuck your feelings. Okay, so right. when you start when you start saying bullshit in the, in the comment section, at a certain point, I'll address it, and then at a certain point, we can just let it go. And the oh no, I'm, will yeah, get I'm, on I'm, your I'm, I'm welcome to the Terradome. <laughs> welcome to Thunderdome, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I mean, we we on it. So I, I pre official Penny Ford. She was the one who said uh, we don't need monsters or trolls, but. Uh, oh yeah, no. I, I think I think the main thing the main thing you want to uh, anybody wants to address is, you know, Pedro made the point. It's like obviously the people that are in power who happen to be Caucasian or Caucasoid or whatever else so you can say I'm being racist, but I'm telling the truth, truth, facts. Sorry, those are the people in charge. Bill Barr is in charge. He's the top cop. Um, Orange Cuntstick is the president of the United States, not to everybody, because apparently if you're in a blue state and you get COVID, fuck you. And that's basically what he said in, in his fucking uh, press uh, Nazi meeting that he had. He actually said that, you know, uh, like blue states, no, you're the president of all America, not he just said, your fucking base, you cunt. Jesus he said, Christ. He said, and when I say he, I mean Trump Dumpty was like, if you don't count the blue states, we're doing really, really well, better than any kind. I'm like, motherfucker, it's like. <laughs> like if you don't like, count the blue it, states? Like, it, that's like, that's like trying to sell a house and being like, if, like, this house would be perfect if it had a roof. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the perfect house. All it needs is, you know, windows or doors. Like, it's, the, you're ignoring the, the, the main part. Like, you can't leave out that part. You can't be like, this house is ready to move in. All it needs is a fucking roof. You know, right. like this is it's it, that's a crazy thought. Like if you don't count America, America's doing great. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. And he's definitely targeted them. Uh, I got a uh, official pinning forward. You're right. There's definitely targeting blue states to make it worse on people in blue states because they didn't vote for him because he's a petulant child. Everybody knows he's a petulant child. He's a petulant little tired ass man child. So you get upset about me saying facts. And this is a fact. He absolutely acts like a child. He sits like a child. He drinks water like a child. He gets mad at people like a child, Republicans included, right-wing people included. So who the fuck are you talking to? Anybody out there knows what the deal is. And we, the next thing we're going to talk about is also he is kind of a predator. So he's, he's, he's all Not of those things. Not even kind of. Not even kind of. <laughs> Yeah. Wait a minute! But, You're like, nope, nope. I'm going to correct you there. Kind of. I'm sorry, Shang. It's not. There's no kind of with this. But speaking of predators, I am cracking up because Miss Adverb is again on one and has decided to go in on on one of these motherfuckers. So <laughs> I appreciate that. This, this is what we like. This is you. You step into this world, Juice, publicity mag, robot people, whoever the fuck you are. You step into this world. This crowd will get on your ass. I'm sorry. So I don't, we don't even have to address this anymore. <laughs> but I will say that Miss Adverb uh, uh, says his mother is 70 years old with the OnlyFans page. Um, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just going to leave that there. Like, Listen, that's... and we're not, okay, but no, I, the stuff that I'm saying, uh, anybody that, not other than Juice, anybody else, um, if there's something I'm saying that's not true, <laughs> point it out. And spell it correctly and point out, I am not trying to teach hatred to young people ah! and none of that. So this just, no, I'm saying anybody commas. on this. still using on, commas as apostrophe. I know, I know, I, I know. It's fucking anybody right. that's it, on Savage AF, that. if I'm saying something that's incorrect about the president, check me. If I'm saying something that's incorrect about the police department and the systematic fucking racism and the prison uh, industrial complex, then check me. But until then, if you can't check me, you need to just sit back and fucking, you know, see what it really is. That's all.
And also, if you feel like I'm acting like a tough guy and I'm, you act real tough online, I, again, whenever I'm in your area, you see me, come speak to me and say, hey, I'm Juice. You try to sneak me, it's going to make it worse. So come <laughs> straight up to me. And it's going to make it worse. It's going to make it so much worse. Just come up to me, man to man, look me in the eyes, go, I'm Juice. What's up? I'll go, hey, Can't Juice, with you, nice to meet you. And then we're going to see who loses the most juices in their body. That's all. <laughs> this- Miss Adverb says this nigga is hooked on Shang and needs to be hooked on Phonics. This is what I'm talking about, man. I can't fuck with y'all. I can't fuck with y'all, man. Uh, All right, so yeah, but speaking of hooked on shit, your president is hooked on grabbing pussies. This is this is a part of his character. So creepy, so fucking creepy. And woman molesting, and uh, you know, you know, just day day daty rapey rape guy is what your president is right now, Amy Doris. Uh, we're going to say her name is the latest uh, accuser of uh, Trumpy Dumpty of, of sexual assault, sexual misconduct. Um, she says that at the U.S. Open tennis tournament, which was just won by a uh, black and Jack- Japanese woman. Uh, right. um, so in 1997, she says at the U.S. Open tennis tournament, he, uh, sorry, groped her and shoved his tongue down her throat. Um, and by grope, we know what that means at this point. Pussy grabbing. He was, he was pussy right. grabbing. Because um, he said they love when you do that. He can just do that because he was Donald Trump. This is 1997. Um, sounds like a long time ago, but it's, it's really not when it goes to pussy grabbing. This is the kind of thing when you get your pussy grabbed, and I don't have a pussy, never had my pussy grabbed. But if you get right. your pussy grabbed, I assume you ain't really going to forget about it. By the way, right, that's, the, that's the thing that stays with you. Pussy grabbedness stays with you. But the thing is, he has had a history of this. If you look at there was 20-something, 20, 20 I don't know the exact number, but I can look it up for you. 20-something women have actually came out and said he's done things that were inappropriate, sexual advances. He actually admitted it himself on the ET tape that he can, hey, you can just grab the pussy. They don't say anything. He, he admits he's a pussy grabber and he does it, but it's not a pussy grabber that's consensual. It's like you can grab their pussy and they can't do anything because you're famous. So you can't even fucking say that, people. You got to just yeah. see what it what it is. He got another assault claim. And it's yeah. not just one. I, but Bill Cosby, there was a bunch. Why aren't we doing this with Trump? He has enough that we go, this dude needs to be fucking investigated and put in jail. But yeah. they did it with Cosby. And these were all allegations. There was no concrete proof. But they put Cosby in jail. Well, this man had 20-something, and we ain't doing nothing. This motherfucker's well, getting away with it because cause we have one faction of our people in America that let this motherfucker get away with it because they're, they're more about race than they are about justice and factuality. So fuck, so fuck I will, with that. I will, I will say that, though, with, with Bill uh, Cosby, that is, um, he was, you know, much like Trumpy Dumpty on tape talking about grabbing pussies with Billy Bush. Um, Bill Cosby was on tape, was, went on de- at a deposition, and and fully admitted that yes, he used to give girls pills to relax them. So, okay, he, so he, Bill Cosby he, did that. He, he and, did not and, deny. And, and Trump that. said, "I grab pussies." Yeah. So you know, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Much like that, uh, it's they were self indicting evidence. Um, so. You know, we're in a culture and, and, you know, I'm not going to ignore the fact that a a woman recently accused uh, Joe Biden basically of the same thing. Um, However, it seemed her story uh, changed a few times and and, and, and didn't quite hold up. So that that's why that faded away. Um, But this woman, um, sorry, I'm going to say her name one more time. What is it? Amy Doris. Right. she she apparently told uh, a couple of friends and a therapist who both have confirmed that, you know, even back then she she did tell somebody, you know, she might not have gone all the way up to the top. But back then, you know, Donald Trump was just a real estate dickhead and not a presidential candidate. Right. Um, and, and, and and not a successful fucking uh, real estate person real estate, because no. he, he, he fucked That's up constantly. Part. Bankrupt constantly. So anything I'm saying, again, anybody on here, if I'm wrong, check me. If he did not go bankrupt over and over again, if he did not have failing businesses, that is Trump Stakes, Trump University, which he got had the $25 million he had to settle up on because they knew he was corrupt as fuck, and on and on and on. Trump Airline. Think about it. 
it's still not in the air. You don't hear about that shit. So get the fuck out of here with that. All that shit, yeah, that all his claims, all that shit he did, he's, he was a failure. And without his pops paying for money and bailing his ass out, he would have never made it, period. That's called white privilege. And if that's me being racist, then I guess it is because it's called white privilege because he got opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to fuck up. Enjoy my, you know what? You know what, Juice? Man, man, I know man, who man. Montana Taylor is. I didn't say you were bot. Pedro said you were bot, but I'm starting to agree. You bot ish. I know you might be real again. Batiana. If you're real, <laughs> you know, if you're real, if you're real, if you're real you sound real stupid because I'm giving you facts and you ain't came back with one fucking fact to dispute what I said. So until then, caress, caress the nuts. Batiana. Um, but you know, so what's not Batiana is, is this is another woman who is claiming that she is, has been molested in the past, sexually assaulted, um, by the president of the United States. And, you know, there's a lot of, you, we in a patriarchal society globally, so men get away with a lot of shit, but you know, this is this is unprecedented in which we, we I mean, bro, we got we got porn stars telling us that the president has a micro penis. Uh, we have seen the first lady's vagina, <laughs> you know, like we are in a time where so many women have accused uh, the president of the United States of being a rapey rape rapist uh, on top of right. Him saying that, you know, I love to grab him by the pussy. So this is just, I, I don't know, man. Like, it, it's hard to even speak on it too, too much. It, no, it's just I mean, like, it I, becomes you, a you're lot. Right. It's like, you're, you're right about it. You're, you're right about the fact that it's hard to grasp. But to me, it's not hard to grasp. He basically has this um, narcissistic God complex that he feels he can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. And because he's got away with it, because he gets so many people from a old rich family that he feels like he can do it. And other than that, the motherfucker ain't shit. He ain't shit as a man. He's inarticulate. He's fucking sad. He knows that he's not a real tough guy. He's not, even when he was younger, if you rolled up on him, he would, he would bitch up immediately. So we already know he's, he's a bitch. And when you're a bitch and you get in a position of power because of white privilege and, and, and racism that, and, and you use these dog whistles, of course, of course you're going to think you could just go grab a woman's vagina and it's cool. And, or, or shove your tongue down her throat and grope her. You think that, yeah, I can get away with that. Fuck you, man. And, and anybody that follows him, fuck them too. Because if, if you condone this kind of behavior, then, then, you know, it's okay. So can I come over and grab your daughter's pussy? I mean, the president says it's okay. I don't, yeah, shut up, shut up always. Wait, this is a president who basically has admitted that he would love to grab his own daughter's pussy. And who, knew, who yeah. knows what he did when he was diaper changing back in the day? I doubt if he ever changed his diaper. You don't back. even joke like that about your daughter. You don't even, you don't even insinuate like, shit like, my, I'd be dating my daughter. my daughter. Yeah, if she wasn't my daughter, I'd probably date her. Like, Yeah, who the fuck does uh, that? <laughs> that is nasty, homie. Yeah, that's, that's so nasty. That's on tape. Yeah. That's on tape. I'd like to bunghole my daughter. Who does that? Who thinks like that? Constantly being overly affectionate to the point where it's creepy and there's photo after photo and video after video. All the shit that we say here on Savage AF, you may not like what the fuck we say, but guess what? It is based in a fact. It is not necessarily just our fact, the yeah. facts. And that's you why know, we say facts and fuck your feelings. Where you know, some, apparently some of our listeners have hit in their feelings. <laughs> so while, while, while we are on the topic of the Trump family tradition of grabbing your daughter's pussy, um, I, I often wonder how his other daughter, Tiffany Trump, feels because uh, I, th I, th I think there's some commentary about her legs when she was a baby, like that something about her legs. But we really don't hear him pine over her uh, like that. And I wonder, does she get jealous or does she feel um, relief or what is the thing like? Does she go at home at night sometimes and be like, why doesn't dad want to fuck me as much as <laughs> Ivanka? You know what I mean? Like. Right. Because he, he has <laughs> another daughter. Oh, clearly, God, that was nasty wants, and wrong. Clearly, he wants to fuck one of them. And I wonder if the, how the other daughter feels. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. This is tough. It's tough to ponder, but this is the reality, guys. Your president wants to have sex with one of his daughters. 
This is something he's pretty much said out loud. He insinuated he would date her. He's always said stuff like about her rack and stuff like that. You can listen to old Howard Stern. Yeah. He wants to he wants to date her right in her butt. Okay, right in her butt. That's he wants to date her. <laughs> no, man, everybody's her doing Obama signs. It's true. We're not making that up. And the bottom line is, he said let it. It was out of his let mouth. Yeah, let that's that roll around in your fucking that's head. Shit, that shit they have to deal with at Thanksgiving, that family, is why don't Tiffany get fucked as much as Ivanka do? By dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't know. <laughs> Damn. I, I have dark thoughts sometimes, and that, that's just one that rolled into my head. Like, I wonder how Tiffany feels. Oh, about damn, 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 damn. Oh, my God. It. I'm dark. Just like my liquor, y'all, tonight. I am dark. So, that's yes. Uh, light, wow. Light skin, but I'm You know so what, though? I, I, get, I, get, I get what people, you know, people say, oh, you can't, you can't prove it. But <laughs> we can't prove when we show video of Ms. him Adverb saying said, shit like that. Yeah, Ms. Adverb said Tiffany don't have that wop. You know what I'm saying? And hey, Tiff, I'm sorry, girl, but honestly, dodge that bullet because it's creepy. It's really creepy. It uh, is very so, creepy. Yeah. I, I, just the fact that, that I'm stunned by these evangel and, and evangelists. I'm sorry. I, I, if I messed up for the a second. Evangel ev evangelist. Evangelist. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. I, I, I say that having come out against him just for the fact that he has no moral center whatsoever. He treats everybody like dirt, even the people around him. He, look how many people he's thrown under the bus pretending and his own administration look how many motherfuckers that have been indicted on his own administration he was supposed to clear the swamp what swamp have you cleared you've made it more swampy bitch evangelicals yes I'm, i was gonna say evangelists evangelicals thank you for correcting me i'm sorry i'm, a, said, I'm a little tense right now uh, yeah yeah i think that, yeah i think that i think that the bottom line is they're hypocrites too they're hip, hip, hypocrites to the, the highest fucking height and anybody out there, when we talk about police brutality and we said it in the show, bottom line is it is a double standard. It is different how they treat black men. So what are we saying in Savage AF that you don't understand? And if you don't understand, guess what? Inbox at Black Pedro. <laughs> Inbox at Black Pedro. And he'll explain it to you. Um, and, 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 and all the people that I know we spent like seven minutes and I looked at the time of fucking around with back and forth with people that are on here hating. Hey, we welcome you to come on the show and talk your shit and you can say whatever the fuck you want. Light skin. Fuck me. I'm light skin. All of that. And you can say all the shit about Pedro that, you know, but guess what? You're going to get talked back about you. Somebody's going to talk right back at, at you. So don't get all in your fucking feelings. I'm not, I'm not going to get off here tonight and be like, he used to think I'm not bad, not funny. I mean, they, he thinks I'm a bisexual snapping turtle. He said I look like a bisexual snapping turtle. Wow. Okay. That was really not a good, that wasn't a good one. The other one you had really wasn't good. Really good. And that was a bisexual snapping turtle. All right. Um, do I, anybody on here, do I look like that's, a bisexual snapping that's, turtle? That That's literally what bitch mcconnell looks like that's what the leader of the senate looks like yes yes if a anybody looks like a turtle it's it's bill Barr below the bar he looks like but a dinosaur you know turtle but you know what yeah. for, for a bot i'm gonna go ahead and cheers uh juice on that one that you know for being a russian computer program uh with the mind of a donkey cake um <laughs> i think that was actually pretty good that was pretty right. good you are a meal biscuit raccoons live in your skull but for a computer program that is sent here from another country to destroy us, I think you did pretty <laughs> yeah. good there. That was yeah, that I was think all you did right. pretty good. And was, and also, I just want to say that all the people that say shit that's bad to us, you, honestly, we're so we're we don't leave and rethink it. Like, oh my god, wait, I don't wake up in a sweat. Like, oh fuck, she just doesn't think I'm funny. I, you know what? It's fine, motherfucker. You feel what you feel. I'm gonna feel what I feel. And and you keep it moving, all right. So you, you, again, <laughs> hey man, if I'm ever down Texas way, you can speak to me in person. Yeah, I'm sure we'll end up in. I'm sure we'll end up in Amarillo one day. And, nah, uh, I mean I can't even see why you'd want to be booked in Amarillo because Amarillo's not a big comedy community. Here's the thing, when I say when I say we'll end up like we will. Just understand that Juice is going to spell that W E comma L L. <laughs> kill, you, kill yourself. Blender hat. Blender hat time. And if you don't know what blender hat is, oh, that, yeah. that's when you take a blender, plug it in, turn it upside down, put it on your head, turn that blender yeah, on. Yeah, blender hat. 
Blend the hat. Blend the hat. Blend, blend the hat. And man. also, also Juice everybody. Juice make, your fucking uh, head. <laughs> Juice yeah, your just head. all the stuff you said about Pedro and all the stuff you said about me. It's cool. Uh, I understand and I hear you. But this is what I want to say to you, uh, uh, all you people on here. Thank you for supporting us. And thank you for coming on Savage AF, you know, consistently. We dig y'all. Y'all part of the Savage Nation. Y'all don't be average, be savage. I'm just saying, make it happen. Tell your friends, friends, friends when we're on here live to check us out. And thank you for the numbers that we do have and the numbers that we always get. We appreciate it. By the end of the day, when by the next show, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Savage AF. Now, the other thing is, oh, we already over our time. That's cool as shit. We um, keep going. Uh, yeah, you I know. know we, we keep, I know. Just, we don't. I, that's, it just trips me out. I'm used to the this, little you, this is, countdown. This is... Um, I'll have to look it up, but I know I posted it on my IG. That's why you should follow me at Black Pedro and at Comedian Shang on IG. But uh, speaking of Amarillo, uh, my brother-in-law and I, at the beginning of last year, we we drove from like, did we leave from, did, uh, we left from uh, Chicago, actually, sorry, and drove to uh, Las Vegas. And on the way, uh, we went through Amarillo, Texas. And we we stopped at, I, I, I don't know if it's called Texas Pete's or some shit like that or whatever, but it's, it's one of them things with a big-ass cowboy outside. It's a, a big old steakhouse. Somebody said Amarillo is in, in nothing but steaks there, right? So it just reminded me of this story. We walked into this place, and first right. of all, they, they had mountain oysters on the menu. And for those who don't know what mountain oysters are, they don't come from the sea. Uh, they are pig balls. So they're not this, oysters. Yeah, this is a place that served pig balls, first of all. But they had a stage. It, it was a. At some point, it don't Wow. Dude, they're up there trying, trying to eat times the. Four times the meat that we're eating. <laughs> like it's ridiculous <laughs> amount of steak. The sun tapped Who out. Who needs the that much? Shit. It was one of those things that you. It's one of those things where you, if you eat it all, it's free. Uh, the sun tapped out, but the father got through it. So uh, basically, I guess they paid for one uh, seventy-two ounce steak. But that, that's Amarillo right there. It, that that's what's going on. In right. The, yeah. Know, no. Yeah. Years. I mean, Texas got a lot of great places. A lot of great people Pink in balls. Texas. I, you know. Pig but pig balls. balls ain't my thing. You know what I'm saying? Just it ain't a, it ain't it ain't a delicacy to me. That's pig balls. I can't get that out. Of my head. No, it's 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 pig balls, and it'll never be none else but pig. Okay, Hashtag. wait. It paused for a second for uh, Pedro. Okay. There you go. You are back. Uh, it paused for a second. Yep. Oh, yeah, there, no, there you I go. You, you froze a little bit on my end too. But I froze. Yeah, I froze. Yeah. I, it froze. Uh, so, up. Yeah. Sometimes it does that. That's what happens. Make sure that you guys check us out. Hey. If you want some of the Savage AF merch, go to Savage AF. Um, uh, like I said go to Savage AF. That's not out yet. It will be. But go to imshang.com backslash merch, and you can check out the t-shirts. We got t-shirts. We got um, Savage AF masks, and we appreciate y'all. I mean, anything you could do is cool with us. Um, and the people that do follow us, we appreciate you too. Big shout out to Eves underscore Apple seventy nine sixteen. Thank you for being a dope ass chick with titties that break up marriages. Um, <laughs> Home records—that's what they call them. Uh, wow! Now you said now now he's trying to clown. He's still trying to clown. He, what going after Pedro? Going after me? I get it. You're a, a struggling comic. I could tell you got trying to be funny. And you really don't know what it's this like is, to actually get on stage and be funny like like right, I is, have and do. Let, 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 let's yeah. talk about let's talk about the bot experience because that or, or the whole trolling thing because you know I, I really do love the idea of you hate something so much that you're gonna spend. So this motherfucker is talking about our our thirty nine, thirty three, forty two vo uh, followers or whatever viewers, but you have sat your ass on here the whole fucking time you know what i mean so let's talk about these batianas out here that like that what like what is the fucking point of any of this shit like if you hate like shit i hate i don't i don't fuck with you know what i mean like i literally just don't watch that shit you know what i mean network television i hate it at this point i don't watch none of that shit anymore you know what i'm saying right. like nfl hate that shit now i don't watch that shit you know what i'm saying so right to take a real stance. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, all going, you people that are saying stuff to Juice, 
I get it. I mean, I already thought I made my claim. I said what it was. I said what it was. I said it what was with pretending to tough talk. I said what it was pretending to the facts. And you haven't disputed one of my facts other than saying paid, calling Pedro names and calling me names. So until you can until you can dispute the facts I said pertaining to racism and being black in this country and dealing with it, until you can do that, you can't say a fucking word to us. Yeah. You just and, and, can't. I, and, I just don't I don't need I don't need your fucking yeah. assurance of whether I'm funny or if Pedro's funny or if we're good or not or how many numbers. I mean, there's a lot of people that don't have monster numbers that are fucking beasts. And I have decent and, numbers, and 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 I'm still working on it. it. But it don't not mean even that, an issue. It's not AJ even an Fitt. issue. AJ yeah. Fitt, three sixty five. They want to distract you off from topics. I feel that. But sometimes we we step aside to call them out because um, understand they're working hard to distract all of us. You know what I mean? Like that that that's what it is. So um, the other day when I brought up my uh, high school classmate and and his post where it was like five or six uh, br young brothers in a liquor store uh, with their pants around their ankles, throwing up gang signs, and the caption is like, fuck Joe Biden, fuck Donald Trump. You know, we're we not for this system. And I'm like, what does this image have to do with anything political at all? And he just keeps coming with this rhetoric about the people of Portland will not be held back anymore and we are fighting back and this is voting is over and i'm like bro you can't even answer the first question the first you know what i mean like people <laughs> don't even know how to converse anymore so like you know I, I, sometimes we call out the batianas just to just right to it's, just, it's, like, it's a savage Batiana show but don't let don't let any of it distract you too much because you know that's yeah what it's, yeah fuck that like I, I, it's, like, it's I can go in it. I can go in with your little bitch ass names and we could go back and forth and I could bitch ass slap you with jokes all day I just it ain't about just that our show is a combination of both we say crazy shit funny shit and we stick to the facts and the facts are not just from us this is a collective of fucking people saying the same shit about this specific administration. And if there's anything I'm saying pertaining to race and racism, just like the topic pertaining to how these cops treated this one man who actually ended up killing one of them and, and injuring another, and how you treated a person that had a toy gun in a fucking park. There is a difference in this country how people are fucking treated, you assholes that, and this is not all Caucasians, the Caucasians that think like that, you're assholes. And fuck you forever. I'm never going to try to have, reach out my hand and bring you over the bridge. Fuck you forever. Y'all don't want, y'all don't like us. And now I don't like you. Okay. And then, and, and then with the, the tough talk, it, it, it's a matter of real motherfuckers. When you see me, you can holler at me. That's all. Like, I'm not going to go back and forth with you, call your names. Hey, pig face. No. If you see me and you think I'm a bitch, Walk up on me and try some shit, and then we go Feeling from there. Froggish, and that's, and that's it. So, and froggy. then we don't need to talk no more. Real motherfuckers move in silence. We don't need to talk no more. So, when you talk tough, you got to do that. Now, aside from that, the, the aside from that, the shit we were talking about is true. It is absolutely true. Okay, it is absolutely true when it comes Man. to the facts of this this government and which fuels some of the stuff we talk about in this show is doing dirt. Even the topics we cover today is about them doing dirt and being called out because it is a certain faction of people that aren't calling out the facts and they're yeah. full of hypocrisy. And that's what we're talking about. So, so I'm going to let it go right here, okay? So, and, and speaking of calling people out, man, um, since we're on some extra time after dark, after dark right here on Savage AF, um, I, I do want to circle uh, back. I, I, I mentioned it lightly a couple weeks ago, but... Uh, Big Sean's new album, uh, and you know, what up, bro? That's Detroit. That's my high school cast tech. Ladies, I know he might not be your favorite. The brother got issues uh, with the ladies, I do believe. But the, the, I want to focus on this one track on there. It's called Guard Your Heart. And it, it really is a, uh, a politically conscious uh, and, and socially just song. Uh, it starts off with this R&B uh, riff. And it could sound like a, a love song at first. Um, right. Where a guy's asking a woman maybe to, you know, but it says things like, show me what you got, prove that you got me. Um, and I realized that, like, you know, saying like, I'm broken in pieces. 
things like that. I realized that this singer is singing to white America, right? And he's at, he's asking America, white America, European America, America to, 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 to prove it, to put up to all the hashtags and the signs and the t-shirts, like to actually show up right now. And, and he's like, I want to feel you next to me. I want to feel you next to me, which sounds like something sexual in bed, but you would say to a woman, yeah, or a yeah, man, given the, yeah. given the context of the song, um, it means that at these protests, um, at these police beatings, at these police killings, that we, we need to feel y'all next to us. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I want you to go listen to this song and just tell me if you if you really, really feel it. The the uh the opening rapper, I think his name is Mac Early. Oh, by the way, I think it's Anderson Pack who's singing this. It is Anderson. It's Anderson Pack. Right. It's Anderson, Anderson Pack. Yeah. Pack and, Mac and, Early, and, and Wale. And Wale on the track. So Wale, um, who's dope too, out of DC. But, um, but they're calling yeah. out they're calling out America. They're calling out white America, European American America to actually live up to this shit. And I I, I want you to listen to this song and if you haven't heard it, like tell me what you think about it later on. But man, it's a uh, it's a powerful message, you know what I mean? Because it can't just right. be us out here yelling at ourselves. That's been the problem is for the most time, it's just us yelling it. But when we see allies out here now, it's like it can't just be for this moment. It has to be like a relationship. Ongoing. It can't be Always just like and it, it can't be Always and forever. Right. It can't be just because we're trending. And by the way, just a shout out to, you, you know, Big Sean, uh, new album, Detroit 2. Um, premieres at number one, earning his third, you know, his third um, number one album. After a three-year absence, um, he er earns the top spot on Billboard 200. Big Sean is back to the top. So this is the news pertaining to across the board. When you put in Big Sean, that's what comes up. This is how hot this album is. So it's something you might want to check out. And he's one of the best um, MCs, period. So um, I'm definitely going to check it out for sure. Um, I'm gonna wrap up here because I gotta call my brother. Um, but we did go long, but I mean, I'm gonna, yeah, you know, rock out with this. But no, thank you guys. First off, thank you guys for supporting us. Make sure you tell people when we're online, tell your friends, 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 and maybe, you know, we can make this go through the roof and then we can get more haters that want to come on and talk shit. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is, um, make sure that we get you to sign up for all of our. On all platforms, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify. SoundCloud, Spotify. SoundCloud, yeah, I forgot SoundCloud. Um, I'm definitely going to check that album out. I've always loved Big Sean, and he's one of the, like, Detroit-wise, He's I think he's one of the top motherfuckers that, that come out of the, the Detroit to be by real way, MC. Erica, uh, by the way, Dave Chappelle, Erica Badu, and Stevie Wonder all have interludes on there where they tell stories about Detroit. Uh, that are amazing. So it, it it actually is a really amazing album. But guard your heart. In this time, I want y'all to ride out on that and 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 let that track get into you and and hear it. Right. And, and, so and check it gonna, out. You 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 gonna you gonna you gonna love you gonna love. Uh, I think it's Mac Early who's rapping it, but uh, <laughs> he says, if you say so, if you say nigga, then I'ma say, is that a Ritz? And I know you get that line. Is that a Ritz? Oh, completely. <laughs> so it's uh it, it 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 it's got layers to it, man. I love that. So Oh, I'm uh, definitely gonna check it out. And uh I just was just looking looking up the information now. It's this on in Forbes magazine uh, that he um after three yeah, Forbes magazine that actually it jumped up one point six percent higher with ninety three million plays on Spotify and Apple. Jesus Christ. 93 billion plays and streaming 71,000 streaming equivalents. All right. And 30,000 actual purchases. Yeah, wow. Right. He killed it with no, this it, motherfucker. It, it, but it's a, it's a real ass album. It's real ass hip hop. It's a real ass album. album. Right. Yeah. But I'm saying that's Nip, dope. That he, um, Nip, Nipsey Hustle is on that motherfucker. Po po you know, Poshnessly. So it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a dope album. Yeah. It's a, it, yeah. All right. So I got it now. I'm looking at this now. I, I'm going to definitely go online and do it after I get a talk with my brothers. Get it in. If y'all yeah. still ride with R. Kelly and Michael Jackson and you can separate the artist from the person, 
then do it with this brother right here for this album. That's all I'm going to say. Well, yeah, for sure. Make sure you do it. And make sure that y'all check us out tomorrow. We're going to be on early, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Savage okay. AF. We're going to be rocking with you. Make sure you sign up. Make sure you follow us on all platforms. We out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what my brother wants. <laughs> Damn. Peace. Give all it right. to him, dog. Yeah. All right. Later.